Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to remove a volume or partition from your APFS drive. So this is going to be particularly useful if you've, say, followed my previous tutorial on dual booting different versions of macOS on a Mac, and you followed this tutorial and now you want to kind of undo, uninstall that second operating system, that second volume or partition. So basically I'm going to show you how to do that today. So if you have two volumes on your APFS drive, so for example here I've got Macintosh HD and I've got Test HD, currently logged into Macintosh HD, and let's say I want to delete this one, then this tutorial is going to apply to you. So the first step is that we are going to go into Disk Utilities. So go to Spotlight Search, and then we are going to do a search for Disk Utility. It's going to be the first item here. And then this will basically give you an overview of your drive. So this is the internal SSD of this particular Mac. Make sure that you can show all devices here. Click on View, click Show All Devices, and then you'll see a more detailed views. So if you only have Show Only Volumes, then you won't get that much detail. I like to have Show All Devices. It gives a kind of clearer view of what is happening. So what we need to do now is to remove the volume, the kind of second volume that we don't want anymore. So this one has a different version of macOS. I don't want that version anymore. I want to upgrade the internal version. So we're going to remove this and save a whole bunch of space. So make sure you select the volume that you no longer want to have anymore. You're going to check which one you're logged into by going to system settings. Then you can go to general and then click on startup disk. And you can kind of see which one it is that you are logged into. So I'm currently logged into this one and uh, I can select test HD, the second volume on this APFS drive, the non-default one. So that's how you can kind of tell. And you can also tell here, if you expand here, this is gray, we cannot delete this volume because we're currently logged into it. What I'm going to do is minimize this. We're going to select test HD. So this is my secondary volume. And once we've selected it, make sure we select the parent. We want the test HD and the data itself. So we're going to select the parent of those two things, and then we're going to delete it. So select here, highlighting this as blue. Then we're going to go here to this volume selection button here. So instead of pressing on the plus button, we're going to press the minus button, and that's going to delete the test HD volume group. So this contains all the data and the data volume test HD data. Data. So deleting this will be permanent. You'll erase all your data here. You cannot undo this action. So just make sure before you do this process that you do any kind of necessary backups and that you're very sure that the test HD is something that you want to delete. And what I'm going to do now is to press the delete button. So here it's unmounting the volume. It's saying deleting is complete. Press done. And basically that volume has been completely deleted. So that saved up a whole bunch of space. If you ever want to repeat the process and get a second volume up so that you can boot another version of macOS, for example, then make sure to follow the link in the description, which I will leave there. This is the tutorial video. It's going to be helpful for any kind of future testing that you might do. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.